SIF's Mass Fluctor 2 manufacturing facility will be expanded and upgraded significantly to increase the annual capacity of SIF to 500,000 tonnes a year. From January 2025, we will be able to manufacture the equivalent of 200 XXXL monopiles of 2,500 tonnes with a diameter of 11 metres. Our process here will be optimised and automated as much as possible to ensure a production process that is safer, faster, more efficient and more accurate, allowing us to create monopiles with an even greater lifespan. Let's take a look at the new process and highlight some of the details. Instead of buying large and already prepared plates, we will have the possibility to use smaller plates, which we will prepare ourselves, allowing for more procurement and production flexibility. Scanning of the plates and storage size enables our fully automated warehouse management system to smartly store and pre-select packages with the correct plates to make cans and cones with just a minimum of handling. In our new Hall C, the plates are prepared, welded, grinded, milled and checked until they've become cones and cans. Here at the start of the process, the plates for the cones are pre-cut in final shapes. Using these smaller shapes means we make the best possible use of plates, have less cutting loss and we can eventually roll the cone in one single move. Also here, the pre-cut plates for the cones and the plates for the cans will be milled on the shortest sides that are going to be welded together in the next part of Hall C. Here we have three identical assembly lines, where the plates are fully welded from both top and bottom. This means we do not have to flip the plates to weld the other side. Less handling means this is safer, and it drastically reduces the process time for this part of construction. Once the plates are welded, they will be milled here. The fact we do this only after the individual plates have been welded into one plate enables us to create an even more accurate weld seam geometry, meaning we have a more precise fit, a more accurate weld seam, and a building accuracy that facilitates a better geometry, hence longer lifespan. As you can see, the machines can mill the long sides simultaneously. In Hall C, we will also check for welding inaccuracies. Doing this now means that we have a very short feedback loop and we can immediately adjust our process to prevent these anomalies. Repairs to the plates will be done offline after the process in this hall is completed, securing the logistics flow. In this part of the hall, the plates are rolled into their final shape, can or cone. Thanks to the new process, our cones can now be rolled in one go. A single move from one metal sheet automatically. This unique approach again makes our process safer, faster and more accurate. After milling, the cones and cans are welded, grinded and calibrated to make sure they have the perfect shape to be welded together into sections. Although the cranes can be allocated to other parts of the production process, they're mainly dedicated to a single part of the process. This constant availability of a dedicated crane speeds up the process immensely. We also made sure that in our routing, cranes can deliver plates, cans and cones to the next location, whilst maximising available space, as seen here. In this part, the cones and cans are welded together into sections. Inside, there are two welding heads working simultaneously, doubling the capacity. The sections are now too heavy to be lifted by the cranes and will be transported by SPMTs. In this next phase, we have 10 working stations, where on the outside, the sections will be milled by one of the three mobile milling machines, after which, they will be welded by one of the four movable welding machines. The sections will now be transported to Hall E, where they will be assembled and welded on the inside, and then milled and welded on the outside. After this, the monopiles will rest for at least 24 hours before they're ultrasonic tested. After the quality check, 
the monopiles are coated according to customer specifications. Finally, they will be transported to the outside storage. Our new plant is the largest monopile production plant in the world and has a large deep sea key with direct access to the North Sea. Combined with the production facilities in Ramond, SIF will have an annual capacity of 500,000 tonnes as of January 2025. Our dedicated, safe and efficient production process is unique for the manufacturing of triple XL monopiles with a long lifespan. SIF. Shaping tomorrow. Performing today.